I'm back with another video. This is Battle Brothers, a game that I've recently bought, a very, very good and fun game. At least I hope so. From what I've seen, it looks fun. And we're going to jump into a new campaign. We're going to... I say new campaign, the only campaign. I can't load a campaign. I've got no campaign there. Um, we're going to... I think, I think we can create some characters. Uh, our brothers, some would say. And we go around the world and do jobs, earn money, do more jobs, earn more money, and that's really about it. Um, we're going to become a new company just because there's no point in the tutorial. Who cares about doing the tutorial? Not me. So, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do a new company and we're going to do okay. We're going to try and do okay anyway. After years of bloodying your sword for meager pay, you've saved enough crowns to start your very own mercenary company. With you are three experienced mercenaries with whom you fought side by side in the shield wall before. So there's four of us. Four of us. A quick start into the world without any particular advantages or disadvantages. Our company name, I don't know what to call it, uh, Late Game Crisis will be random. We'll choose our badge. Ooh, ooh, okay, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no. Well, let's not go to that one again. Um... <laughs> oh, dude, I like this one. This one kind of looks like the Roman. Ooh, I like that one as well. That's got the three swords that my brother has and the crown that I am. That's good. That's a good. What's our company going to be called? Um, uh, SP. Miss. Miss and Nerys. SP mercenaries, starting point, mercenaries, permanent destruction, and um, no. Now this banner represents four of us, the three warriors that will be with us, and me, the king, the crown jewel of this SP mercenaries. So we're gonna go next, we are going to be doing beginner, we're not gonna be doing Iron Man or anything like that. If you want to you know, if we, want to, if we want to go harder and want to do... This is just like a tester, a taster, if you want to see more. Obviously, we'll do a new campaign. Uh, where we do a bit harder difficulties and stuff like that. I just need to know the game first. Play a bit. Have a bit of fun. And, yeah, this will probably be about a uh, 40-minute video, so... Yeah, we should be okay. No, I definitely want a ranged person. That is, do I even get to choose? I thought I get to choose. Maybe I'm thinking about another one. Maybe I don't get to choose. Um, you soak in the cool air, the cool morning air. As the sun slowly rises, so does a new chapter in your life begin. After years of bloodying your sword for meager pay, you saved enough crowns to start your very own mercenary company. With you are Canute, Hacken, and Rupert. What? See, the two of them are really, really strong names. Knut, Hacken, Rupert. <laughs> Rupert, what a name. Um, with whom you fought before, side by side in the Shield War. You are their commander now, the leader of the SP mercenaries. As you travel the lands, you should hire new men in the villages and cities to fill your ranks. Many who offer their services will have never picked up a weapon before. Many? No, no, not many. Wow, I can't bloody read. Maybe they are desperate. Maybe they are greedy for quick spoils of war. Most of them will die in the battlefield. But do not be discouraged. Such is the mercenary life. And the next village will always have new men eagerly looking for a new start in life. I need to make sure this is not loud. I'll take that just a tiny bit. Uh, 
the lands are dangerous these times, robbers and pillagers lay in ambush by the roads, wild beasts roam the dark forests, and orc tribes are restless beyond the boundaries of civilization. There are rumours even of dark magic being at work, the dead rising from their graves and walking again. There is plenty of opportunity to earn good money, whether by taking on contracts you can find in the villages and cities all over the land, or by venturing out on your own to explore and raid. Your men look to you to give command, they live and die for their SP mercenaries now. Huzzah! Now this seems to be our, our starting screen, we do only have three people. Canute, who is a, a spear, um, a spearman, he's got, he's got quite good health, he's got two stars in health, one star in fatigue and one star in resolve, I'm guessing that's going to be pretty good. We've then got Hacken, who's a berserker type with two axes, and he's very very good at melee, melee defense, and also resolve. And last but not least, Rupert, who has got himself a good old light crossbow, who's very very good with the ranged skill, and has also uh, got good initiative. Nice, his background, well we'll talk about the backgrounds, so Knut first, he's got the, the skills thrust, spear wall, knockback, and shield wall. I'm sure they'll all be quite good, but his background is companion, and um, you saved Knut's life in a battle against brigands, and he returned the favour in an alley ambush by thieves. Given that common criminals are a few levels beneath brigands, you often joke with him that he's still a little behind on the saving each other's asses debt. Nice, he's gluttonous, so he wants food, and he's also in good spirits. Nice, I'm guessing that's also going to be quite the same. Um, so he, he wants... He's, something's wrong with him. But he, you hope he never fixes it. He has a taste for gambling, betting, battling, sorry, whoring, singing, dogfighting, skirt chasing, and weirdly, dishwashing, uh, vomiting, and of course, drinking. Uh, he's always been a gift to have around. He always, he also just happens to be an excellent fighter. So he has a huge, which gives us a good melee damage, and a rational. Last but not least, again, Rupert. You cross paths with Rupert a number of times prior to his joining the company. First time you were both simple labourers, the second time you were self sort and now the third go of it with him joining your company. If all goes well, you'll finally stick around this time, and you'll both find the riches you seek. He is a bleeder which isn't good, but he's also dexterous, which is not bad. Alright, so there's a few things up here. Um, we can camp and we can do all that stuff. This bit kind of reminds me of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, mountain Blade. Okay, so it seems like this is the map. We go all the way up there, and we go all the way down here. Um, okay, so we're going to head straight away to this big, big city. Uh, that's an amber collector. We should probably head into the city, shouldn't we? However I do that, I don't really know how. There we go. There we go, we're moving. Now then, we've got a lot of crowns. We've got a lot of food. We got tools and provisions and ammunition. So train hall, marketplace, tavern, higher, harbour, temple. And also up here are the contracts available to hire mercenaries for money. We are going to hire some men first as we have the money to do that. And um, we need someone who is a strong melee fighter, but also not too expensive. Now, Ludolf seems pretty good. He starts at a higher level, so he, costs, he only costs 12 uh, per day, so he's worth 800. And he's a, yeah, he's not bad, and he's got a higher level. 
So he's broken without luck, he joined a local militia, his weapons were rusted, and the armour non-existent. Unfortunately, enemies were not so kindly under-equipped. When a lord sent his entire militia to almost certain doom, Ludolf realised he had better seek something better if he wanted to live. He took his modest skill set into the field of mercenaries. Um, okay, we are going to... We're going to hire him straight away. We just need it. We just need someone. So we're going to we're going to go. Uh, a hooded man gestures you to follow him. Nervously looking over his shoulder, he leads you to the back room of a local tavern. Before addressing you, he takes his time to peek out the windows, probably looking for anyone eavesdropping. A figurehead by the name of Bodo the Guildmaster wishes to see you. He's a man of some re repute in this town, so you understand my discretion. Besides the people towards you, there are. Dir Directions written on it. Uh, Bodo the Guildmaster grabs a chest off his shelf and puts it on his desk. When he opens it, a bevy of papers pop out, almost scurrying to get three free. He grabs one and lays it out. On one side is a contract, on the other, a small drawing of a map. It's real simple, Cellsword. I have been contracted to deliver some particular cargo to stand to them. I have the goods, but I don't have the guards. If you're interested in being caravan guards for some for a time, maybe a day or so. Uh, okay, let's talk money. He puts out his hand uh, he puts his hand on your shoulder, smiling very firmly. I think I know an adequate compensation for your services. You'll get two crowns per head you arrive with and I'll pay up to 25 heads and another 130 when the job is done. Uh, uh, it's a bit suspicious, but I'm going to accept this first offer. Let's go. Where are we going to? Okay, we're just travelling along with the trading caravan. That's nice, so I don't have to do anything. Where is Santa? Down there. Oh! Many brigand thugs. I didn't see how many. Shit. This could be so many. We could. This could be a really early... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, there's Rupert, Hacken, and Canute. And there's Ludolf. And they've also got a few people there. So, first is Hacken. Hacken? No, Rupert. Rupert, now how do I play? So if I send him like... So if I shoot Bolt, I can hit him from over here. Which is nice. Now who's the best? They all seem quite... Good. Now the one with the shield is kind of annoying and the one with the helmet is kind of annoying. So I'm going to take the one with the shield first. I hope... No, I'm not. I'm going to take the one with the helmet first. He missed. Reload. And we'll end the turn here. Right, we're going to get on the high round with Ludolf. And we're going to keep him there. And we're going to end it right there. They're now going to be... It's him. Caravan hand. They're not doing anything. So we're, di we're dead, basically. I am sorry to say. We are so bloody dead. Here's... Yep, yeah, I know we're gonna have a good old fist fight with uh, a brigand thug. Now we can split the man. A uh, slow overhand attack, but very, very good damage. But it costs and builds up 15 fatigue. We're actually gonna give a split man a go. He missed. Oh, Gyoz, he did. We are. Hung up completely. Fucked right now. Um, I think I'm gonna head. Can I have a a spear? Okay, we have a thrust, so we might be able to actually get quite close. If I head about here, can I thrust against you? Or spear wall? Oh, shit, I don't know what spear wall does. Okay, we're gonna have to hope for the best here. It's my first time playing, so we're going to die, obviously, very, very quickly, but 
this will be what the video is. Just us dying. Just, <laughs> just us dying. Okay, I might have to jump all the way over to here. No, we'll head over to there. Just so we're with our group of people. Well, he's gonna attack, and he does hit, and he's a bleeding, and he's a bleeding. Um, uh, you can. Did he not get hit? Oh my god, you're terrible. He's a terrible, terrible person. Why are you running away? Now I'm surrounded. Right, you're gonna have to do a round swing. Oh shit, you're gonna hit. The good man. Nice. And can you also run back, please? Ah, shit. Maybe not. Can you actually attack them, please? I wouldn't mind an attack. There we go. That's a nice attack. And you can just get a good old thrust. Nice. And you know what? We'll do another thrust. Nice. A bash or a knockout? We're going to give a bash. And he missed. What about a knockout? And he missed. He's terrible. Nice. Well done, Ludolf. Is it Ludolf? Ludolf. Now you are going to have to... You're missing everything. You drop back. Shit. Okay, so you can't even drop back at all. No! Oh god, his head's been chopped off. A oh dear. Is that two of our people dead? It is. Two of our people are dead. Our brothers are all dead. Um, can I have a a a knockback, please? Never mind. Well, this is going great. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We could win. There's only four of them compared to five of us. But this annoying fuck is really annoying. Good. You almost got him there. Nice. What? He'll still my go. Yeah, we're fucked. He's almost dead though, to be fair. Nice. Now it's two versus one. Oh dear. Oh good, he missed. Oh fuck, he's, he's fucking... He's dead. We didn't even get a chance to have a go. Yeah, we're fucked. He's fleeing. They're also fleeing. It's over. We won, but we lost everyone. And now we're probably gonna die. Yep, we lost everyone. They're all dead. Great, well... Yeah, this is definitely not going to be the, uh, 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 the, the, the actual series, because we're dead, but this is, yeah, yeah, this isn't going to go well at all, especially if another set of people come, hopefully they don't, <gasps> Ooh, okay, crown spot has served, yay, we are fucked, we are fucked, we have no men at all. Um, we're gonna have to hire just you and you. Just for some sort of defense. Um, you all sit next to each other. Okay, they're all... Oh my god, you don't even have a sword, I need to go buy a sword for you. 
Um, I could buy a malicious spear or a bludgeon. Sure, I've got the money. Kind of. No, you can get this. You can at least do something, even though you're not very good. Oh no, you're pretty decent, you know. Now then, can we? Yeah. Can we stay here for a little while? Is there no, like, rest? Oh dear. As is customary, you assemble the men to explain the company's next steps. Brothers, the SP mercenaries must show the world we are forged of a hotter fire than other mercenary bands. As our reputation grows, so will the influx of crowns to our coffers. Let us forge path to greatness. What do you tell your what what do you tell the men the company will do? Uh, I like this one, we need allies. But we're right down south, which is kind of annoying. Can I Can I uh if I head here, is there no ta oh, okay, there's not. Okay, right then. Right then. Let's just head on the road. Which we can't seem to do. So oh, no, we can. We are heading over there. It's kind of hard to know. Because it doesn't have like a clicking sound. Something's over here. I'm hoping it's just a, t a caravan, but it might not be. Let's hope we don't find anyone. I want to head over to this battle site. It is just a trading company. Now, what will we find at this battle site? Can we even go in the battle site? No, it doesn't seem to be. That might be the battle site we were just at. Alright, we're going to head to uh, the fishing huts. But you can't enter. We can't enter the, this town, though, which we means we can go to the harbour. We can also... Go to the training hall and get some training in. But we don't have much money. I'll get canoe training. And I'll also set up camp. Set up camp just outside here. Just to gain a bit of health again. He is still injured, but he's almost back up to full health, which is nice. He's got fractured ribs for one one to three days, so we are going to have to wait a couple of days. You know, let this run through, hopefully survive, and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go try and... Ex Who the fuck are they? We are so bloody fucked. Did someone get the high ground? They're right there. We're, we're all... Oh, dear. That is terrifying. We're all gonna kind of camp around each other. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Like, that is a one terrifying looking creature. Oh, wait, you come around to here. And. Bash. You thrust. And you thrust. You miss. Oh, but we'll start again straight away. So we're gonna. You miss. One. You miss. One. You miss. Two. You miss. You missed everything. And someone else is dead. We are. So. <gasps> unbelievably. Fucked. I'm gonna sit in a shield wall. Nice. And he's dead. It's back to just canoe and, uh. He's still alive. He's knackered. He's fatigued. And we lose. Wow. Okay, this is a hard game. A very hard game. Oh my god. Wow. Um, crows begin to crowd the skies. Black and get with their... Shapes filling it with their sickening squawks. 
Men come to loot the bodies of you and your men, and so your weapons and gear will continue on, doing biddings beyond your beckoning, beyond your call. Well, that was a very, very short campaign, but it's something... Why would not let me fucking change? There we go. I hope that didn't make the screen go all weird. But that is something that um, it's a good it's a good game. It's something I want to play. So if you wouldn't mind, I, w uh, I wouldn't mind you enjoying this as well. So if you have enjoyed and you want to see more, give it a like and subscribe and all that bullshit. Tell me down in the comments games you want to see me play, and I'll play them. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.